Good morning. It's Friday and today I'm switching things up because usually, usually I do chin-ups. Everyone's favorite bicep exercise. Well, certainly mine. Um, on a Saturday, but I have some really exciting news. I got a extender for my belt for weighted muscle ups and well, weighted muscle ups, both the rings and the bar. So that means that I can focus a little bit more on my muscle ups. So what I've done is I've kind of rearranged my schedule a little bit so that I can do muscle ups on a different day to chin up so that I'm not fatiguing the same muscle groups to allow maximum kind of training and focus on my muscle ups. Because I always feel like they they get hit and they they can't be as good as they could potentially be because my lats and my biceps and my triceps and well, just my upper body is so fried from the strength work of the pull-ups and the muscle-ups and the dips, well not, no, it's from the pull-ups and the chin-ups and the dips, that I can't really focus on my muscle-ups. So I'm trying to kind of like rearrange my schedule to allow for more focus on my muscle-ups uh, because I always feel like just they're just not progressing as much as I'd like. More so the bar than the rings. I feel like the rings, because you can manipulate them a little bit more, it allows for, I don't know, I just, I feel like they aren't taking as much of a knock, but definitely, definitely the bar work in terms of my muscle ups is taking a huge knock and I'm just not progressing as much as I would like. I think the most I've ever done is nine kilograms with the ball. I think I'll have to check my book, but yes. So I'm moving chin-ups to the Friday and I know everyone loves their, the, the bicep, the bicep pump that I get. So I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing today. So it's deload week, uh, which means everything is at 50 to percent, 50% of my one rep max. And I'm just doing four or four, nice and easy, but I'm making it a little bit more difficult by add, either adding pauses, tempos, or negatives to my four, four by four, just to really emphasize the, the muscle activation and making sure that I am in the correct form and making sure that the movement pattern and path is correct, activating the correct motor neurons for maximum strength development in those areas. So I'm doing four by four chin-ups and you can join me for set number two, baby. Okay, I, I'm, I made a conscientious decision to face you so that you're not looking at my ass the entire time whilst I'm trying to talk to you, uh, <laughs> as, as you normally end up doing when I'm doing something that is pull related on the bar. Okay. So set number two, I'm really focusing on the explosive upward drive, um, but then I'm going to pause at the top and do a nice and controlled negative, which will really activate the bicep tendons and just get everything nice and working and pumped and blood flow because that's what we want, baby. Okay, so... Remember to get your hands as far around the bar as possible and full range of motion people. So make sure that you hang completely extending your arms. You, they don't stay locked out whilst you're doing the movement. You're cheating yourself if you do that. Okay. So make sure that every single rib you start with arms completely straight and then you, you bring your chin above the bar and then all the way down. Don't do partials unless that is the goal. You know, you want to make sure that you work every single aspect of the pulling range, uh, because the hardest part is often just the, the initial engagement of trying to activate your biceps and your lats to start the movement. So if you're taking that out of the equation, you're making it easier. So this part right here is the hardest part. Nice and slow and controlled, all the way down, straight arms at the bottom and up. Slow and controlled, all the way down, two more. Slow, controlled, and one more. Yeah. <sighs> 
nice and easy. Ooh, it's only 25 kilograms, so it's not, not a heck of a lot. And it's a weight that I can easily, I say manipulate, but it's a weight that I can easily do negatives with, um, and focus on all the aspects of the movement. So what I mean by working on the movement pattern, you, let me just move this way. So what I'm, what I'm saying when I'm talking about the movement pattern is regardless of what, whatever movement you're doing, whether it's powerlifting or bodybuilding, you want to isolate every single aspect of those muscles so that you're getting maximum engagement. Because the last thing you want is you're not firing something effectively and that will make you weaker. So you want to make sure that, say for example, you're squatting, you're, you're trying to activate your glutes, your hamstrings, your core, your, your back is tight, you're stabilizing everything. And that's what I mentioned the other day when it comes to strength movements, powerlifting movements, you're trying to activate everything. It's the entire body that is moving the weight. Whereas with bodybuilding, you're trying to isolate like one muscle group, something like this where I'm doing a weighted chin up and I'm going for strength and maximal volume, well, maximal weight. I'm trying to engage everything. I'm trying to use everything. Yes, there may be a bicep movement in that this is the primary pulling drive, the bicep. Um, but I'm then using my triceps for stability. My shoulders are engaged. I'm keeping that hollow hold position, which means that my serratus and my, my uh, stabilizing muscles are all engaged. My core is engaged and I can pelvic tilt to get maximal engagement. My glutes are firing and squeezing. And that also helps, I find, to help pull me up especially on the heavier weights, and my glutes are engaged, then everything's nice and tight, which stabilizes me more, which allows me to get higher. And that last little bit over the bar, I feel like that's where the glutes activation really comes into play to get my chin over the bar on that heavy, heavy, heavy weight. So that's something that I'm just figuring out and focusing on as I develop these skills. Um, because I haven't been doing calisthenics as in the weighted movements for very long. I'm still trying to analyze all the movement patterns and develop the correct movement path for maximal weight whilst obviously doing it technically correct, not cheating myself and just developing all the correct patterns. So that's something that I'm really focusing on is activating everything, getting that hollow hole position. But I mean, you can see like when I do that, just how many muscles need to be activated in order to effectively pull myself up. So that, that position right there isn't a normal position for me. So I'm having to teach my body that position in and of itself. But yes, so far, so good. I've got two more sets. It's really easy today. I can feel that I've got more energy. I'm just flying through this deload week. Um, and I'm so fucking excited for next week because next week, Next week we start cranking it, baby. Cranking it back up because we want that heavy ass fucking weight. And I'm gonna regret saying that because next week's five of five. And five of five is so destroying in so many ways. But whatever the case is, I'm fucking excited. We're gonna smash it. Okay, so onto my last set of bicep chin-ups and I'm loving it. It's, it's actually quite refreshing to do something lightweight enough that it's not taxing and, and frying my central nervous system and I can really almost play with weights if I know that's probably not the wrong right description but it's it's light enough that I can really do a, an extended negative focus on that so full um, contraction at the top and then a really nice and slow negative so just wanted to show you my last set and hopefully I can really slow down that last rep and get some serious tension built up into my bicep. I'm focusing obviously a lot on static holds for the calisthenics but wow like the the slow negatives and everything are so much more taxing than anything that I would normally do. I just find the static holds 
fry you and you don't even feel it. Like it's just one of those like, oh my word, I'm, I'm exhausted yet I've done nothing at the same time. Or at least in my mind it feels like nothing because I've held like three planches for like two seconds and, and somehow I'm, I, I have to rest for like five minutes between sets. It's, it's fascinating and mind boggling and soul destroying at the same time. <laughs> Right, so, last set of chin-ups, baby. It's nice and slow and controlled, focusing on full range of motion again. Okay, so. One more. <sighs> 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 Oh, yeah, that got a little hard towards the end, but that was four sets of four reps, nice and slow and controlled. I'm loving it, loving it, love the challenge. Something different. So that is biceps done. We're on to, um, I'm gonna do some planche stuff next, but that was strength essentially for the today. So I did, um, back squats with a pause at the bottom, uh, dips, ring dips with a pause at the bottom, and then chin ups with a pause at the top and a negative as well. Oh, my biceps are like nice and pumped. That was some fun. Yeah. Right, so moving on, we keep on going. Yeah. Having fun today, having fun. Mindset matters. How you wake up and how you look at the day will depend, will dictate how that day is gonna go. So be fucking positive, baby. Yee! Yeah.